All right, uh, Hunt Palmer is up in Nashville as uh, he was going up there to cover the SEC basketball tournament, but it uh, turns into a golf and party weekend for, uh, for Hunt and Music City as coronavirus has uh, canceled the tournament. No baseball season. Hunt, how you holding up, buddy? I'm sad, um, and I think that that's okay. I'm, I'm certainly understanding. Of, well, I don't understand any of it, but I understand the concern and why everything in the sports world is completely shut down. But and I think that it's probably the right thing, but it can still make me sad because I don't have all that much going on in my life, and I yeah. kind of like to pay attention to sports and won't be doing much of that for quite some time, it seems. This was a big weekend for you, Hunt. Getting to Nashville, watch a little basketball, play some golf, catch up with some buddies. Um, now with no tournament, the weekend still lines up to be pretty good for you. Well, we'll see. I mean, we're not going to go down to Broadway and tear it up. You know, there's just not any reason to do that. I'm not going to get in the crowd with you know 300 people in a bar and listen to the country music. I would love to do that, but we're not. I'm going to play golf twice, and uh, we're going to hang out at the house. We thought for a while there we were going to still get to watch the Players' Championship. Uh, back at his house, but that's obviously not going to be the case. So we'll have some good time together. There's a couple of friends up here, and we're going to play a couple rounds of golf. But uh, I'm not going to cut up too hard because I'm kind of on the board of why get in a bunch of crowds. I still haven't decided if I'm going to get on my airplane on Sunday. We'll see. Wow. Huh, this is your season, man. I mean, baseball, <laughs> basketball, golf. Um, what are you most depressed about not being able to watch? You know, all of it. It's all a big part of my everyday life. Um, I, was, I was telling some of my friends, it's like I'm settling in with the stark reality that you know, come for the next you know, however many months, my chief concern is going to be work. Well, who wants that to be the case? Yeah, but that's what it's got to. That's what it's, what it's got to be. And look, I, I say I think that it's okay. I think everyone understands that there's a massive, massive problem and something that's got to be taken care of. And we talk about sports and we concern ourselves with sports and we make jokes about what we can and can't do. Everyone's aware of what the situation is and so I, I don't feel the need to sit here and be totally solemn all the time i think it's okay to make some jokes and i'm you know i'm bummed out about it but i i'm i'm with it let's if we, we got to hit reset here for six months eight months whatever it is that's what you got to do yeah and i guess if we have to hit reset then the like, like you said the seasons are officially over uh Looking at basketball hunt, you do hoops with hunt daily, a a basketball podcast. What do you think the kind of what what should the takeaway be? What should the story of this twenty nineteen twenty twenty LSU basketball team be? Well, I think um, you start with Skyler, who was kind of the face of the renaissance of the program, where he was on the two and sixteen team and came back, and then was big part of the 16 and two team that made the sweet 16. And then his senior year was a first team all SEC player and the guy who led him to you know, tie for second in the conference and to see what you saw from their team, his freshman year, and to see what you saw from him the last two years where LSU basketball finished with the second most wins in the SEC and SEC play over the last two years, four, three or four games ahead of third place. You realize wow. where the program has gone with him there. And I think that's the overriding story. Yeah. This team had some ups, had some downs, got hot in the middle, had some incredible moments, the, the buzzer beater that Skyler hits to, to win the game. But the fact of the matter is that LSU's basketball program is very, very healthy. And I would have loved to see this team try to make a run, uh, especially in Nashville and especially in the NCAA tournament, where you figure they were probably going to get a one or a two seed in, in the second game if they could get there. And this year you could have beaten one of those teams because they weren't all that great. Yeah. Um, so I think that, that LSU – I, I'm bummed out that they don't get to finish this ride, but as an LSU basketball fan, you feel like the next time that they take take the floor, the team's going to be really good, and we haven't felt that way in a long time. Yeah, and that's that's I, I'm kind of right in line with you there, Coach Wade. Another successful season for him in year number three. Um, now, what about your other major passion, Hunt? I, it, it's tough to ask for kind of a season recap of baseball because we really only got to experience the preseason. What? What's 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 your thoughts on where this baseball program kind of sits now, heading into next season? You know, it's tough to tell. Um, you just learn so little playing in the non-conference. It, it's really yeah. about what happens in conference play and how you stack up, and we just don't know. I mean, I think the team that they played last weekend is is really bad. So I, I realized that they had to get to get one weekend with the bats, but I don't know how much you could read into that. You could have figured something out by facing McKenzie and Hoagland this week up at Ole Miss and, and that staff and 
you know, that environment, if it were what it generally is. And so you won't really know. I mean, I know that it was fun to sit there and watch Jaden Hill pitch. And I know that, yeah. that Cole Henry really had it dialed in for a couple of weeks before he got a little injured. It seemed like Marso had kind of figured it out. And you, know, you, you wanted to see what guys like Malazzo and Cade Doty and Giovanni Giacomo could be in the middle of the lineup. But it's not going to get that chance. And, and so I've, I've been pretty steadfast in my opinion that this team has some pretty significant flaws to it. But pitching is a pretty powerful makeup. Yeah. And it can hide a lot of things. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. you got to see what the decisions are from the NCAA and from the SEC as to who can come back and who can't and, and what guys feel and what the MLB does in terms of showcases and getting ready for the draft. Because I'm pretty certain that a lot of Major League Baseball teams who invest millions of dollars of draft picks are going to be a little uncomfortable having not watched these seniors in high school play and having not watched any of these college kids that they're going to be able to draft over the last – in four months of their career. So we'll see if they can set up some showcases or some sort of scrimmages and once that time comes. But at this point, when you're just talking about LSU baseball, it's hard to figure out who's going to be back, who's who's not, and what where we go from here. Uh, talking to Hunt Palmer, I guess that's what I was going to ask. It might be an impossible question, but what potential arms could baseball be uh, losing? But, yeah, I don't know. I, well, I guess I, mean, I-, I could – I can throw something at the wall. I mean, I would think Cole Henry would, would have to think long and hard about going. He's a draft eligible sophomore. You would think Devin Fontenot would move on as he's really dominated for a lot of the last year and, and four weeks, as it were. Um, those two guys would come right to the forefront. And then you've got you know, some senior guys that have been around like Matt Beck. Um, but and I think that there's a good chance that – well, I know that you got to get guys like Marceau back, like Hill back, and Labus would have a choice to make. But I think he – have a strong chance to come back. Um, it's there's still going to be a lot of talent on that team, um, but you know certainly some of the top end guys will will move on. You expect spring football to make it, Jordy? I don't expect anything right now. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much locking this thing down. I, I, I keep hearing all my friends are like, "Oh, God, I hope I really hope they play the Masters." I'm like, guys, they're not playing the Masters. Like, it's just not going to happen. Um, they, there's just there's this is too serious and. There are people way, way smarter than me that know way, way more than me. I've tried to read a couple things, but it, it, I'm as skeptical about reading these things as I am about when I hear a political debate, and they just throw these wild numbers out there that, to me, it's like, how does anyone know this? And so I'm just – my assumption is right now is they're going to wait until the amount of cases just drastically slows down before they hit the, the play button on anything. Hunt Palmer, every Friday, I guess? You want to come back next Friday and just kick it, man? <laughs> I'm sure I'll come back next yeah. Friday and kick it. I'm really not good at talking about anything other than sports. So we maybe figure that out. Struggle, but don't, maybe don't we give after. somebody somebody mentioned this. Me twice a week. Somebody mentioned this in the uh, in the huddle. Maybe we give Hunt like one movie assignment a week, and then he has to come in with a movie book report, like a famous pop culture touchstone that Hunt has not seen. If we were to Man, assign Hanniger, that, would you do it? I would do that. Hanniger's told okay. Odd he had to do that. Jimmy was a little beat up uh, when they started canceling everything on uh, yesterday. So we talked about. Uh, it. I feel he's, like I'm kind of right in, I'm right in the same boat with him. He, he's our top concern, really. I mean, like in-house <laughs> family worry concerns. Jimmy Odd is at the top of the list. Hun, he's already got lines on the uh, number of infections. So if you're looking for an over/under and the infection <laughs> rate, just hit up Otter. He can get you some action. I mean, I feel like he can find enough people that are itching to put something down that he may be able to figure that out. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Um, yeah, don't pay any attention to those those political numbers. Ott's got those real time numbers coming in. <laughs> uh, all right, nobody Hunt, knows like Vegas. Enjoy, <laughs> Vegas enjoy, knows. enjoy Nashville. Stay, uh, stay healthy, my friend. All right, guys, we'll talk to y'all later. All right, Hunt. all right. There he is, Hunt Palmer, checking in from Nashville this morning. He was up there covering the SEC basketball tournament.